You're fucking stupid if you don't believe in the Second Amendment. Because every society doesn't have it. Cuba doesn't have it. You can't revolt against the government. You can't revolt, right? So in Mexico, you don't, you don't have that type of luxury, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have the luxury of, of like protecting your family. Imagine they roll up to your house, right? And they want to take your family, the, the cartels, where you can't even shoot back. You just got to let it happen or they're going to kill everybody in the family, right? Tell you one last story before we move on. There was a couple of guys that were selling drugs there in, in Coahuila. The two brothers, they decide they don't want to, they're, they're part of the cartel. I don't know what happened. Things are a little hot for them. They're like, you know what? We want out. We want to retire. So they left to Texas because Texas is right there. <laughs> they're the, the last name is Garza. You guys could actually look this story up. And uh, the cartel said, you have one day to come back. And if you don't come back, we're going to kill everybody with your last name in the surrounding area. Hmm. And that's exactly what they did. That's exactly yeah. So that's exactly what they did. They um they went in there and they eliminated everybody with the same last name. So that's how bad it gets. Even if you don't, aunque no la debas las pagas. That's you know saying even if you don't owe it, you pay it because that's just the way things go. So being in America, you don't have to worry about things like that. I think people take it for granted and they become sissies over here. Uh, Damn. You know, touching upon what one of the things that he said, um, I believe in the Second Amendment, but there, like, there's so many polarizing things here happening in the United States that you're you either we're we're getting split up into extremes, right? So. There are a lot of people that are for Second Amendment and they're like, Alive. don't take away any fucking gun. It's it's like they're at one end of the spectrum. And then there's a bunch of other people which are at another spe end of the spectrum that are saying you, we shouldn't have guns. Why Canada doesn't have guns? The United Kingdom doesn't have guns. Why do we have guns? And I'm somewhere, I wouldn't say in between. I'm pro-gun. I have a gun. But I don't believe in the ar 15s I don't believe in these guns that are do that are going out there and kids being able to get these guns very easily, mm -hmm. going out there and going into schools and doing whatever, you know, wherever they go or people coming into the workplace. I think that we should have that second amendment. I do believe that we should have guns because I know what happens, look at the Ukraine, look what happens to Cuba, look what happens to all these people, they get bullied, mm -hmm. right? And if the people can't stand up for themselves, they're screwed. So I believe definitely we should always have that right to stand up for ourselves. Yeah. But I believe we shouldn't take it to the extreme. You know, you're not hunting deer with an AR-15. You know, you're not. There's, there's no need for some of these. You yeah, but, know. but, but, but the Second Amendment was never intended to hunt deer. It was, it, it, it was it was meant, it was meant to be able to protect your family and against a tyrannical government. You can't do that with the nine. I own AR-15s, a lot of them. Uh, you can't do that with the nine millimeter pistol. You just can't. You know, and and I, by the way, I 100 percent agree that. with you. I 100 percent agree with you. Um, I don't like the fact that you could just go, like in California, we have a 10 day uh, cooling off period. And by the way, as pro gun as I am, I think every state should have that. Like in Texas, you can go and buy a gun right now this instant. If you're hot after having a conversation with Michael, you'll go kill him. So exactly. in we have a 10. I 100% I agree with you. I don't, uh, as far as uh, the type of gun I want to, like the military has tanks. My little AR-15 ain't going to do nothing against them. So when you compare, does that make sense? But what I'm getting at is that uh, I think a twin day cooling off period, uh, everybody already has background checks. We already have that. Like people are like, we need more background. We already have them. But 10 day cooling off period allow, and then not only that, it gives the government in California 10 days to catch any felonies or misdemeanors that you may have so then they can deny the gun from you so i think every state so that's going back to fixing what you're saying yeah. i 100 percent agree with you i don't think an 18 year old kid should be running because I, I own them i don't think an 18 year old kid should be running around with an ar-15 at all i don't I think agree. they're responsible enough but going back to like i said you know i, I do want to be able to defend my family in, in case you know nine millimeter ain't gonna do it you know because i have well, i think what you're, you're both are saying is there's some needs to be some common ground it shouldn't be yes. zero guns no yes. no sorry like yeah. no you get nothing and it shouldn't be like you can get, walk around with a freaking bazooka. Yeah. You should, right? There needs you, to be some sort of you moderation. You should not be able to, an 18 year old kid ha, should not be able to go into a store and walk out with an AR 15, bro. And I'm I telling agree. you because I own them. Yeah. You, should, it, it, you should not be able so to do that. So there should be age limits on this? I think, for, for look, for an AR, 9 millimeter, whatever, I think 21. I'm, and, and again, a lot of my buddies are going to watch this or not because I am pro Second Amendment, I'm mm -hmm. pro gun. I don't think you should own an AR 15 until you're 25 years old. Really? And still be able to pass, you know. But some people are going to say that's very un-American of you, Richie. I don't really give a shit what they think <laughs> because at the end of the day, well, he's right. Yeah. You know, I, you, there's certain things. There's certain things that you get bullied in school. Whatever. At, at least at 25, you're you're because you're, what is it? The front, the lopi. What is that thing called right here in the front? It stops developing at 26. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking a little bit more wiser. How did he go from the king of Miami of partying yeah. to philanthropist? Because he grew, he matured. Doesn't mean, so you need to go through that process as an adult. Of course. And I think at 18, you don't. You know, I know at 18, you give oh, shit. It was game over. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauzcast, click right here.